Now my memory card was full. This is going to be one choppy ass video. And um, other things that you notice about the phone is um, those cool little effects that you can see. It kind of looks like an old television set turning off. And um, uh, another app that's kind of a must for these phones is um, a th an app called Widget Locker. Uh, it makes this, this home screen um, customizable so you can actually allow this to take like to work while the phone's locked just in case you want to check like a message like quickly and I keep pressing the wrong thing but um yeah so that's a handy little feature okay now um, the rest of the video I'm gonna just jump right into the root loader and um, I'm gonna show how to flash and how to wipe and how to how to basically navigate those menus so if you've rooted your phone you're comfortable with that you can stop watching now so thanks for watching <laughs> and uh, hope that this has been um, just a, a good video to I hope that um, you know breathe some life back into your Acer liquid because um, this ROM is actually um, one of the ROMs that you should be trying out if you haven't yet so let's go into Malez actually no I'm gonna shut off the phone so I can show you how to um, how to um, start it in Mala's recovery. So phone shutting off. So how to um, how to start it in recovery? It's a little bit different. You got to hold down a couple buttons. You're gonna hold down um, uh, the minus here, the camera button, all the way, both clicks, and the power all together. You're gonna get three vibrations. and um, you should be booting into Mellows. Um, people that are having trouble with getting Mellows on their phone, there is other bootloaders out there, but I wouldn't suggest them. This is one of the better ones, and um, actually I'm pretty sure that everyone, especially on the Modico forums, use Mellows as their bootloader. And um, here's our menu. So basically the touch interface doesn't work here. You can't touch anything. So what you gotta do is um, use your plus and minus here as a uh, you're up and down, so to go down in the menu is just on the minus sign, and your select button or your enter is um, your menu here. So if um, you can't really read this because it's stupid focus, but um, your top option here is the reboot system, which will boot right back into whatever uh, ROM you just uh, flashed, and uh, you can actually have the option to unroot your phone just in case you need to send in for repair or, you know, uh, just. Uh, sell your phone if you don't want it rooted. Um, you can actually, if you're connected to a computer, you can toggle USB mass storage so you can get into the phone's micro SD card. So you can actually put in ROMs from this menu and then uh, come back out and flash it without like restarting the phone at all. Um, backup I never use because uh, there's an Android for backups or uh, titanium. I wouldn't suggest using those with uh, Liquid Next because they actually don't work as nice as you'd think. But, you know, you don't even need to worry about backups because of um, uh, the update app. And um, here's the flash test menu. So to get into this menu, you click this. So here we are under the flash menu. Um, you can flash zip from SD card, no sign check, no install. But um, usually after you've um, done Model Les correctly, you don't need to do the no sign check anymore. So you can just flash from um, the, the SD card itself. So I've got... Basically, if you can read that, all the Liquid Next uh, updates, because um, uh, since 1.7, or I didn't realize that you could update straight from the app, so I was doing uh, manual updates. If you are having troubles with the app, because sometimes um, the app goes through AdFly to monitor clicks or how many, um, at what traction they're getting at, so you might want to do it the way I did it, which was manual um Updates. You don't need a. You don't need to like reflash. Sorry. You need to reflash your phone, but you don't need to wipe it. Uh, it's just a you know minor little updates that help improve the phone um, performance. But as you can see here, you just pick one of these to flash. Um, you can have as many ROMs as you want, so you can switch back and forth like I have been doing for months, trying to figure out which ROM is right for me. Um, again, I'll just warn you to stay away from MUI because it's really sluggish, especially on the Acer. I mean, if you're running a Lick or a, a Nexus S or something that's a little bit like newer that doesn't need a community ROM, maybe it would be nicer, but especially on this phone, it's a little sluggy. So back button, of course, is this. So back to this menu, and then you can test unmount, mount, 
all of your options here and uh, here's the white menu I'm not gonna be showing you this but uh, so yeah that's basically the ROM and um, when you're do when you are running a um, a flash um, here let's go back into the menu here let's see it'll actually run scripts here and you'll see them all uh, performing and it'll say enjoy as soon as you see the enjoy message you can just go back to here this menu and reboot and it'll uh, boot right back into your liquid next your new ROM so that's how um, that menu works so I'm a little slow or a little dumb and I didn't know about the no touching I didn't know about these menus so I was sitting there for about an hour trying to figure it out and uh, so just if you're watching this video and you're, you're new to rooting just uh, keep that in mind that you'll need these to navigate so this is the login or this is the boot boot into the the phone it's a cool little element animation uh, don't know where they punked that from but um, there is little um, hacks that you can find on Modical Forms that can actually change what you see here you can even put your own wallpaper or something. It's really customizable up to you. And um, another thing I wanted to mention before is um, these uh, proximity centers sec or sensors are actually really, really finicky. Like they are, they actually work maybe too good. So I actually uh, delayed them. You can delay them in the the settings there. Um, to uh, not check for like five seconds or something. I think it's uh, default for one second. I don't think you can tell on my um, my phone, but the brightness dims like as soon as you put your thumb there. Um, that's it about the phone. I hope you enjoyed watching. And um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll make sure to get back to you. Um, should be doing a how-to video, but um, as of now, I'm pretty sure that YouTube has enough or a sufficient amount of how to install Melez. And um, if you are thinking about a different kind of uh, bootloader, I wouldn't suggest it. Um, I'd stick it out. I'd try to find a different walkthrough. Um, I'm going to be posting one of my favorite walkthroughs down there in the description box um, for Mellow's recovery and I hope you enjoy your Nexus your sorry not your Nexus your your Acer I'm actually upgrading to a Nexus because I'm actually getting tired of tired of managing with ROMs and you know Google pushes all their their new updates straight to the Nexus phone so that's gonna be my new phone so you, if you really want this phone and you're in the Ontario region you could probably find this phone fully rooted on the Kijiji website. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your Acer Liquid.